In this video, I will be talking about Volcán Ipala, or Laguna Ipala, a crater lake located on the top of a dormant volcano just a few hours outside of Guatemala City in an area of Guatemala called Chiquimula, or Ipala. It's a very beautiful hike, very easy, and at the top you can swim. There are two ways that you can get to the top of Volcán Ipala. You can either take a car and drive up to a parking lot where you can go on a one to two hour hike depending on your experience level. Be aware that this hike is very hot and very dry, but once you get to the top where the trees and the lake are, it's going to be very windy and cold, so make sure you dress in layers. The other option is to drive all the way to the top but I only recommend this for 4x4 vehicles. We had a truck and we thought that we could make it to the top because it was a truck, but since it wasn't four-wheel drive, we did get stuck um, at the very end because it just got too steep and rocky to go on and we saw several other vehicles having to turn around there because they just weren't able to get up the hill. We were very fortunate and the family who was at the bottom of the hill allowed us to park in their driveway overnight. So we just hiked on foot the rest of the way. As you can see and hear in the background, it is very windy at the top of Volcán Ipala, so make sure you come prepared, dress warmly for the top. It was like this all night long. It took both of us to set up the tent. One person could not do it alone. It was very, very windy. So just make sure that you're prepared for that if you choose to come hike, swim, or camp here. Just to wrap this up, I want to give you guys a couple of tips. Guatemala is still a growing country and there are still things that happen there that are considered dangerous like robberies even though these happen everywhere in the world. But just be aware of that if you're going to camp down there because camping is not super common yet and it can happen. We were very fortunate to have this street dog that just showed up and greeted us like it already knew us and stayed with us all night. We felt so protected. He even followed me to the bathroom in the middle of the night. And I still wanted to take him home, but that doesn't happen for everyone. So just be aware of that before you go. Be aware that the water at the top is freezing and have a great time. 
If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like button below. And if you're enjoying my videos, make sure you subscribe and turn on your notification bell so you don't miss another one and share everything with your friends.